it can be a bit confusing to distinguish between Azure policies and Azure roles. So we'll do a little comparison to help you understand the key differences. For the Azure policies, they are used to ensure compliance of resources. They evaluate the state by examining properties on resources that are represented in resource manager and properties of some resource provider. It doesn't restrict actions, which are also called operations. They ensure that resource state is compliant to your business rules without concern for who made the change or who has permission to make a change. Even if an individual has access to perform an action, if the result is a non-compliant resource, Azure policy still blocks the create or update. As for the Azure roles, they are used to control access to Azure resources. They focus on managing user actions at different levels of scopes. And Azure roles do restriction on Azure resources. Another thing people tend to get confused between are Azure AD roles versus Azure roles. For Azure AD roles, they are used for managing Azure AD resources. For Azure roles, they are used for fine-grained access control to Azure resources. Active Directory resources include users, groups, billing, licensing, application registration, etc. Azure resources include virtual machines, databases, cloud storage, cloud networking, etc. By default, Azure roles and Azure AD roles are separate and do not span Azure and Azure AD. By default, the global administrator doesn't have permissions to manage Azure resources. Global administrator can gain access to Azure resource if granted the user access administrator role. So Azure AD roles are specifically for managing Azure AD resources, while Azure roles focus on access control to Azure resources.